One of the reasons why we all look forward to Christmas is because at Christmas time we get to receive gifts. We get to receive and to offer presents and this brings a great joy. This week my kids got some early Christmas presents from their grandparents. They sent this huge box full of things that we miss from Romania and they were so happy. As they discovered their new books though, I watched them quickly turning to the last cover, to the last page, the back cover, and looking at other books in the series that they don't have yet. And this got me thinking about joy that is not complete. Yes, they were very happy that they got gifts. Yes, they were very happy that they were allowed to open up some, some gifts before Christmas, but this joy was incomplete. This joy did not last too long. It wasn't like the joy that we read about in the Bible. You know, when the angels told the shepherds that a savior has been born for them, the shepherds went to, to find baby Jesus and they were so full of joy that they had to tell everybody in, in their town about it. Have you ever felt about telling all the people in Berlin that Jesus was born? I talk about that kind of joy. It's so big that it, it bursts. It goes all over the place. It makes you sing. It makes you be happy. It makes you want to wanna talk more to God and about God to everybody. And we also read in the Bible that when Mary and Joseph brought baby Jesus to the temple, at the temple there, there were two older people, a man and a woman. They both instantly realized that baby Jesus was more than just a baby and they believed that Jesus was the one who God promised he would send so that our sins can be forgiven. They realized that baby Jesus was the Savior, the Son of God and for that reason they immediately burst into singing and they composed songs and they proclaimed how great Jesus was with great joy. I talk about that kind of joy. The joy that doesn't go away like Christmas joy. You know, you will eventually get bored of all the new toys you will get at Christmas. You will outgrow the new clothes and you will get sick if you eat too much chocolate. Christmas joy is supposed to pass. But the joy that we get from believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God will never be taken away from us. It's a complete joy. It lasts forever because when we believe that Jesus is the Son of God, then He makes it possible for us to live with Him forever. And this joy is forever. So I want to leave you with another Bible verse from Philippians 4.4 4 that says, Be full of joy in the Lord always. Again, I tell you, be full of joy. This week's craft idea comes from Family Akbor, to whom I would like to say thank you. We had a wonderful idea. We've tried it too, and it was great. We had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Lucille and Charity for this wonderful idea. We ended up with a nice basket like this that really brings a beautiful smell to our home. We used oranges. Ours didn't have the skin so thick, but if you have th uh, oranges with thicker skin, it works better and it's also safer. You don't make such a mess <laughs> because this can get quite messy if you cut too deep. So we used a tool like this, it's a peeler. If you don't have one of these, you can improvise or you can just leave it out. And for Mate, because he was not allowed to, to peel with that sharp tool, I just punched some holes in the orange and he just uh, stuck the cloves. These are the cloves, they're called Nelkin here. So you might, you might wanna get um, these beforehand if you don't have them already <laughs> in your home. So yeah, Emma wanted to do a snail shape and this is what I did at the beginning. I also have fun with this. <laughs> this is what Elisa tried to do. Yeah, it was really quick 
it doesn't need too much preparation and it looks wonderful. So I hope you're gonna try it too. And once again, thank you family Akbor for this wonderful idea.